the adventure. Today we find ourselves in the beautiful city of Osaka. So our first stop had to be the infamous Kuromon Market. This is one of Osaka's oldest and most vibrant markets. As we're walking around, I saw a shop that sold the blowfish, so it instantly piqued my interest. The blowfish is served fresh and cut into small slices, and it was delicious. They did have the blowfish swimming in the tank near us, which made me feel a little bit guilty. After that tasty treat, we found a place to try out some sake. This shop allowed us to pick from a wide variety of sake. Just take note, they have a surprising high alcohol concentration but without the strong burning taste so you might be tempted to drink a lot. We also ordered a few different snacks to have with our sake. What is great about this market is trying all the different stalls. We stopped at a place which sold takosen. It is takoyaki sandwiched between shrimp flavored crackers. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so push on word with you. I get it. The eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand tall. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. Wicked games to play, make me want to lose my mind. Found solitude, knowing it'll be over soon. Ever need a boost, count on me. For we grab some dessert at Cafe 82, which is known for their jiggly rabbit pudding. Because we've been watching the volleyball on an international level, we wanted to watch a volleyball game in Japan. Specifically a Panasonic Panthers as a lot of their players are in the national team. Every time I filmed the shitter, the Panthers would always lose the point, so I don't know if it's a little bit of bad karma there. It was really awesome just to watch all the players that we cheer for on TV and to see them playing in the flesh. As the night came around, Yupi had to run some errands, so I decided to do some editing. I found this really awesome Starbucks, which is also a bookstore. This place was amazing for me, as while I was editing, I had a coffee and some snacks while I edited. 
It was a really nice atmosphere as people were just studying, drinking their coffee, and it helps you keep you focused and motivated to do more work. And that's a great place to end the video. Hope you enjoyed and we hope to see you again.